Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're filming Testing New Makeup episode 31 and I have so many fun things to play with. So let's get into it. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I have a series on my channel called Testing New Makeup. And basically I sit down and try out a bunch of new makeup that I've either picked up or been sent in PR. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, if you like new makeup releases, this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on the bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, I'm so excited. I have so many fun things to play with. I also have a kid's birthday party to go to, so I need to make sure that my makeup is gonna stay in place because we're going to the splash pad and I'm really, really pumped about it. I just used the Huda color corrector because you guys know I've been in love with it. So I'm just blending it onto my skin. The only bit of makeup I have on my face right now is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. You guys know I love that primer. And I've realized that the longer it has time to set, the better off I am. So I put it on and then I filmed my B-roll and now I'm filming. So hopefully it should look really, really good and not get pilly. It hasn't gotten pilly ever since I started applying it way beforehand. So anyways, today we're gonna test this foundation again. This is the Smashbox Always On Skin Balancing Foundation. I featured this in Testing New Makeup. I think it was episode 28 or 29. And I really liked it, so I wanted to try it again. And I was gonna use the Makeup Forever Foundation because I used that in Testing New Makeup, I think episode 30, but this one is a new foundation, so I thought, let me try this one. But I have the new Makeup Forever concealer, and it was so lovely. I wore it yesterday, so I'm gonna use that concealer again today, and we have a new eyeshadow palette to try out, and we have new cheek products, so. Yeah, I'm very, very excited for this video, but I really like this foundation. I thought it really made my skin look flawless. And I've had pretty good luck with Smashbox complexion products. I feel like they don't get talked about a ton, but I bought their like Halo Glow, I think is the name of that foundation. It's pretty good. So I was excited to try something new from them. And I also bought their concealer the halo concealer and that was really good but I want to use the makeup forever one because I want this makeup to last it's going to be I think a pretty hot day and I want to look good and I want my makeup to stay on and not like melt off my face okay so really really love this foundation so far I'm excited to see how it does you know, in full blown sun. And in this foundation, I have the shade M2OW, and this is one fluid ounce. And then I picked up the Makeup Forever Concealer in the shade 2.5N. I was a little bit surprised at how light this looked, but honestly, yesterday when I blended it, it looked great. It didn't look like it was too light, so I'm not gonna stress about it. I am so excited about the potential of this concealer because it just really made my under eyes look so beautiful. So I am very, very hopeful that this will become one of my favorite concealers of 2023. And yeah, maybe it'll join like my top products in my collection. But look at how like effortlessly that just like melted into my skin. I am so happy about that because concealers, I feel like not all of them are made the same. Some just work better on some people and others work better on others. So it just depends. And this one has just surprised me. I mean, I knew that it was going to be good, but like this just 
like my gosh it just blends like a dream no creasing just makes my under eyes look flawless so whatever is in here I am very much here for it <laughs> okay so yesterday I did break this out as well and I'm gonna use it again today this is the new milk powder the glaze skin sheer finish powder beautiful I think this reminds me of the hourglass ambient lighting powders and I said that in the last video as well so I'm just gonna use this to set my under eye I love the Sigma brush for setting my under eyes it has like a perfect shape for it and so I'm just putting on a good amount and then I'm just gonna put some on my nose as well and then around my jaw because I feel like that's where I lose the most product when it comes to touching my face or anything like that okay next we're gonna do my brows really quick so I have this palette from Sydney Grace this is their mad for you brows and they sent me two shades and I have the dark brown palette and I'm gonna go into the shade called Coco and I used this in my brows yesterday as well and I really liked it so I was kind of surprised that Sydney Grace is doing brows but good for them I think they have like five of these palettes in different shades so very exciting and I am totally one of those people that just loves to fill in the sparse areas of my brow with a brow powder I know not everybody loves brow powders but your girl is so into brow powders and yeah I just really like to use them to fill in like this front portion of my brows I should probably go get my brows done but honestly I usually do that on the weekend and it's summer here and I just don't want to miss a second of time with my kids so I've just been putting that off but anyways I have some new eyeshadow palettes to try out so let's go ahead and do that next okay so I had placed a big Sephora order I think about a week or two ago when the Patrick Ta blushes came out and stuff and for some reason I don't know why I just felt like I needed to try this palette <laughs> I'm so mad at myself for buying this because I'm gonna overlay the swatches of this palette while I talk to you guys about it and I saw somebody had created looks with this palette and it looked beautiful but I didn't watch the video because I thought maybe I would pick this up for review their eye looks were beautiful, beautiful eye looks, but when I swatched this, I just was not impressed, and I don't want to mess with this palette right now because I actually need my makeup to look nice. So I decided instead to pull out my Bella Beauté Smoky Glam Palette. Now, I've never used this palette before. I just kept eyeballing it. I really wanted it. And I finally just gave in and bought it when I bought their Best Mattes palette. I have swatches palette now that I'm showing you the swatches and stuff like that. The swatches are gorgeous and I was really inspired by the pink shadows in this palette. So I think I'm going to create like a Barbie inspired look. I'm really feeling the beautiful shimmer shades up here. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna combine this with their Best Mattes palette and create like a Barbie pink look. How stunning is this Smoky Glam palette? Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to play with it. I had kept wanting to use it and then I decided let me use the Cosmic Crush palette because it's newer to me and I wanted to share a review with you guys, but I, just why I'm so mad at myself for buying it like why did I buy this palette it's such a waste of money so I mean I'll still try it for you guys don't get me wrong but today is not the day to try this palette because your girl's got places to be birthday parties to go to and you know I just want to look like I tried and not like I have some dust on my eyeballs so we're gonna go with the Bella Beauté Bar palettes instead. So I'm priming my eyelids with a pink base because why not? I had put away some eyeliners in my single 
pigments drawer and I was like, oh my gosh, I've never used this pink base. And I was like, why not? I mean, what's the worst thing that can happen? I'm already going to do a pink eye look. So I might as well see if this base does anything for me. So if you're curious, I don't think you can buy these anymore, but these are the NYX Ultimate Eye Paints. And I use them as eyeshadow bases and I thought this would be so, so beautiful for a lid primer. So that's what we're doing. And yeah, I have some ideas of what I wanna do with the Smoky Glam palette. And I really, really, really wanna use, there's a neon pink in this one. Here it is down here. So I kind of want to use, is it pink? Yeah, I think it is. This one and this one. So we'll we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm going to grab the Singe E04 brush. And I'm going to go in to this corally pink shade. And we're going to start by kind of pressing that into the crease. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm already excited. I am already excited. Okay, so I wanted this to be as vibrant as possible, so I am just taking this singe brush and just pressing that shade into the eye paint so that it looks nice and bright. It is summer, so I feel like it's totally appropriate to have a nice bright crease color. I mean, listen, I'm the first person to tell you to wear whatever makeup you want, but when it comes to pastels and neons, I have to kind of press them in because of my skin tone. Well, even if you are a lighter complexion, you still kind of have to press these shades in because if you try to blend them too much, they're gonna fade away. So that's why I was using that singe brush and really kind of trying to press that into my skin. So hopefully you guys get it. And then this a pink shade in this palette called Powder Puff. Oh my God, it was so pretty. It's like a pastel-y pink. I don't think it's gonna show up over this neon though because I kind of wanted to use it as an inner corner shade, but that's all right. I'll just see if I can use it to blend out the neon a little bit, but oh my god, I love how good that neon looks. Okay, so for the lid, I really want to use this shade called Imagine from the Smoky Glam palette, and it's swatch beautifully. It has like a violet shift to it, so I'm very, very excited to put that on my lids, and I'm just going to take a flat brush. I'm going to pick it up with this brush, and I'm going to give it a nice spray. I have a new spray that I'm going to pan. This is the Milani Make It Dewy spray. I want to use this one up. So we're just gonna... Oh, that's so pretty. It has like a sheer base to it. So you can just see the sparkle. Oh, that's so pretty. I feel like a mermaid. Oh, this is giving it the prettiest little sparkle. I kind of love it. It looks very different from what I usually do because I usually have like such an opaque look on my eyes as far as like the shimmer goes, but this is like subtle and it's just going on top of that eye base. So it's a good thing I put on an eye base, but you can see it when the light hits. There's like that purple and blue like sparkle as well. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cute. I kind of like it. Oh, that's so adorable. Okay, I need to go find like a pink eyeliner. So I'll be right back and I'm going to do the lower lash line off camera too. I'm just going to do what I did up top on the bottom. Okay, you guys, so my eye look is done. Now it's time to play with some new cheek products that I picked up from Sephora. Can you guys guess what I got? Okay, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm totally just kidding. I feel like it's not that excessive. I was really, really intrigued by the new Give Beauty blushes. I told you guys back in the day, my friend Angie got me hooked on the lipsticks and she's been going on and on about the 
face products. So when they launched the new blushes, I was like, fine, I'll get one of the highlighters, I'll get one of the bronzers. And then I picked up two of the cheek palettes as well. So I got the shade Super Hot. Oh, this is the bronzer. Ah, I hope that's the right color. Here's the blushes I picked up. So I picked up Feeling Cheeky in Stars Aligned, which looks like that. And then I got the corally one called Flirty Talk, which I don't think Flirty Talk's gonna work today because I have on a pink eye look and I feel like I should go with something pinker. But this is not as bright as I thought it was gonna be, which is totally fine. But look at this like little bandana packaging on the inside. That's so freaking cute. Amplifying Blush Duo. To add definition, sweep the natural matte shade along cheekbones in an upward motion from apple to temple top with the luminous shimmer shade on the apples of the cheek for a dimensional look. Okay, so eye look is done. So let's start off with a bronzer. I've never tried her bronzer before. So I'm going to grab my little Tarte brush and we're gonna, I'm scared because this shade looks kind of dark. Okay, I think this is more of like what I would consider a contour. So I'm gonna just put on a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with the Sigma brush on the powder side. And we're just gonna go ahead and add that bronzer on. It smells like baby powder. And nobody told me anything about the scent as far as I remember, but holy moly, it smells like straight up baby powder. So if you don't like the smell of baby powder, watch out because whew, that was, that was shocking. I was not expecting that at all. I also did get the new Too Faced highlighter, but since I didn't use the Too Faced palette in this video, I'm just going to wait for when I do use it and then I'll use the highlighter with that in probably testing new makeup episode 32. So stay tuned for that, but I'm going to use this blush. Okay, so I'm going to use the Stars Align Compact for blush. So let's start off with the matte. And I just like to lightly dust. I have so many new cheek products like... I used the Givenchy blush yesterday and that was amazing so I have really high expectations. I don't know if you guys are going to like this fragrance. Holy Santa Claus, like it's pretty potent. I can definitely smell it as like the brush moves past my nose. So that was unexpected but I'm going to put on a little bit of the glowy as well on top. So there it is with the glow. This is the matte side. I haven't put the glow on this side just yet. Okay, I think that's pretty, but the fragrance I can smell and the highlighter smells like it too. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got this in the shade Homegrown Glow and there's a few different bricks. So I'm just gonna go along the three on top. Ooh, I like this. This is kind of like that undercover highlight. Like that one from Bare Minerals I've been using. Their blush highlighter, this is kind of like that. Like it's a highlighter, but it's not like that overly glowy type of highlighter. So I really like the highlighter so far. Not sure about the bronzer or the blush just yet. Okay, so I'm gonna spray my face really quick and then we're gonna try a, another shade of the lip bowl that Urban Decay sent me. Okay, friends, so the look is pretty much done. I am gonna go ahead and throw on a lippy. So Urban Decay recently sent me some of their new Lip Bond lipsticks and I actually tried one yesterday and I really liked it. So today I thought I would go ahead and use this very bold looking shade called Crushin. It looks to be like a bright pink shade. So let's go ahead and swatch it. These puppies deserve a good shake. 
that's when they apply I think the best so give it a nice shake let's go ahead and apply this on the lips okay so here it is in all of its pink glory I'm gonna give that a second to dry down and now let's go ahead and talk about all the new makeup I just tried out okay so I am really living for the Barbie vibes today I feel like it's been forever since I did like pink makeup but it's so fun I feel like it's so flattering with tan skin so I'm totally here for it like I said in my testing new makeup episode 30, I have a new appreciation for these lip products. I think when I first got them myself, I wasn't shaking them. I don't think I was. And uh, now that I figured that out, we're good to go here. So I think this is a fun color. Definitely not one I would have bought with my own money, but... I knew when I was gonna do a pink look that I wanted to use this lip color. So yeah, I really like that so far. The new products I just tried out from Give, I'm a little bit skeptical. We'll have to see. I was really excited for these cause my friends really like them. And so I was like, oh, I'm gonna really like them too. But that scent is uh, pretty intense. So I'll have to keep you posted on that. And as far as like the highlighter, and the bronzer, I feel like I'm not sure about. I feel like I have other cream bronzers that I really like. So I don't know that I necessarily needed this bronzer, but I will keep trying it. And the blush, I think, was okay. But I have that new Givenchy blush that I really enjoyed the other day. And I've been really loving some of the other blushes I've picked up as well. So I don't know that this is that unique. It looked really beautiful in the PR photos and like the pictures that they had online on Sephora, which is why I bought two shades. Like usually I buy one, especially if it's not something I've tried before. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Usually I have pretty strong feelings, even with my first time trying something out. So I'm a little bit underwhelmed by those two products. I really like the highlighter. I think it's beautiful. I did skip on this originally because I was like, okay, it's like a gold champagne highlighter, like whoopee freaking do, which still true. It is just a basic highlighter. It's nothing special, but the formula seems to be beautiful. So again, I will keep you posted on that. And then as far as the two palettes I used, well, I have used the Best Mattes palette on my channel before, so we don't really need to talk about that right now. But this palette is so pretty. I really wanna use more of the shades. I didn't really end up using much from this one, except for that pink shade, but I definitely could see myself reaching for this again. So. I will say the Too Faced palette kind of sabotaged this one because it didn't really get to, you know, show off its full potential and I have plans today. So I didn't want to do anything too smoky to go to a splash pad for a kid's birthday party. So I went with something fun and pink, but I'm very excited. I've heard such good things about that palette anyway, so I'm sure it won't disappoint. But I do have a bunch of stuff still to test out for testing new makeup episode 32. So I hope you guys come back for that. And I hope you enjoyed this kind of chaotic video. I will see you guys in another one very, very soon. Bye for now.